Meteorologist Dave Aiken. Dave, I know we were talking about uh, Tropical Storm Bertha last weekend, but nothing on the radar this weekend, fingers crossed. Yeah, we hope so, although we do see a little something that's way down. It may not affect uh, the continental United States, and we'll talk about it in a second that may develop as we go on into the next uh, couple of days or so. But you're right, hurricane season runs from today through November the 30th. Expected forecast and above normal season, and it's the sixth year in a row uh, for an early start. And we have to remember, if you've lived in central North Carolina long enough, you don't have to live at the coast to be affected uh, by hurricanes. That's for sure. We've already had two named storms so far, both tropical storms, Artha and, and Bertha. Crystal Ball is next on the list, and we may see that develop possibly in the next couple of days or so. Here's where we are tra uh, tracking the tropics just over uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Here's the Bay of Campeche. This storm is expected to, and really it's just now showers and thunderstorms, is expected to move out into the bay as we go on into the next 24 to 48 hours and has an 80% probability of developing into a, a tropical system. Uh, it was, Amanda, a tropical storm in the Pacific, then it kind of uh, died out and degenerated as it got over Central America. And then once it moves back out, it'll get renamed. Uh, the Gulf conditions support development for this storm as we go on into the next 48 hours. So we'll watch that. It looks like it'll move off to the west once it does get out into the Gulf. 67 right now in the triad. Boy, you couldn't ask for better conditions out there right now. A little warmer down to the south and east. 74 in Wilmington and also in Fayetteville. Warmer air back out to the west. We'll get in on that as we get on into as early as the day tomorrow and then really start to warm back up as we get on in towards the end of the week. Notice these dew point numbers nice and low into the 40s. Quite comfortable out there. Not humid at all. But as we get on into tomorrow, you'll see these numbers start to get back up into the 60s. And especially as we get on into the day on Thursday and Friday, we'll see that humidity start to come back into play. Light breezes out there out of the east and the northeast makes it quite comfortable uh, out there. We've got plenty of sunshine across Virginia and both the Carolinas. More clouds back out over the Great Lakes up around Chicago and a few back up over portions of New England. But that's about it. Other than that, things are pretty quiet. If you're looking for rain, you do have to go up around areas of uh, Michigan and also into areas of Illinois and also Wisconsin and some showers very scattered down over some of the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana. So seasonably and, and cool, dry start to this week, but the heat and the humidity will start to come back, as I mentioned, then rain and storms return, especially late in the week and then as we get on into the weekend too. Right now, things are clear. We've got high pressure just off to our north. That's bringing in those northeasterly breezes where it's a little bit cooler, sunny down to the south, but the humidity resides back out to the west, and that's certainly something we'll watch for. Temperatures a little below normal tonight. We'll be in the mid-50s, low lower 50s in the mountains overnight tonight. Then as we get on into tomorrow morning, we'll start things off as we get on into uh, the 60s, 50s and then 60s rather quickly on Tuesday. Then we'll start to warm things up as we get on into tomorrow afternoon, getting back up into the 80s as we get on into tomorrow afternoon. And again, you'll start to feel that humidity come back gradually as we go through the next 24 to 48 hours into the uh, 70s for our afternoon high. That's not bad at all. In fact, it'll feel quite comfortable out there and in the foothills too. a good looking afternoon. If you can get out and enjoy some of that. That would be great. There's our 82 for Tuesday. Notice we're in the upper 80s for Wednesday and then on into the end of the week. And the best chance for showers and thunderstorms will be Thursday and Friday and into the day on Saturday too. Some of those will be relegated to the afternoon hours. We'll watch that radar for you as we get on into later this week.